Well, the great thing is right now um, is that dance is in the spotlight. It has been for a couple of years with the great shows like So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars and, you know, even America's Best Dance Crew. Dance is everywhere. So we're very fortunate that we're in that category. And we want to be able to make sure that when we can do things like Smucker Stars on Ice, that we interact with the audience, that we choose music that they relate to, that they understand. We do dance moves that they appreciate now that they've seen it on television and in other forums, and um, make sure that we use all of the great dance outlets that we have nowadays with the choreographers who are interested in going from the floor to the ice and helping us create a bigger repertoire of movement in, in ice dancing. Definitely. She hit it on the head there. Um, you know, trying to reach out to new people is kind of the name of the game especially with the economy as it is we need to expand and uh, you know I think getting people to want to try what we're doing or to have a desire to be able to do what we do is is the key and so if we can tap into what's popular and um, you know what people are already interested in then take it to the next level on the ice and add that other that other dimension then I think that'll be the key. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we certainly know the burden of, of the finances that this sport demands. And our families have been incredible and, and given us everything that they possibly can and then more. Um, so we definitely understand. At the same time, you know, getting out there and having fun with skating doesn't cost anything more than a, the price of a public skate admission. So I think that, you know, you don't need to have a, a lesson every day to love skating and to develop your skills. And a lot of it is just figuring out for yourself how to feel comfortable, how to balance. And like we said earlier when we were on the ice, you know, you have to be able to feel it to really know. And, and they say that when you land, for example, when you land your axle for the first time, you'll never lose it because once you have that feeling, you know it, you feel it, and you can recreate it. So just doing basic skills classes, which are m much less expensive in groups, um, can really get you started, and then you can decide where to take it from there. Small, small world. I can't say that much of our business gets kept secret amongst <laughs> amongst the other skaters. Um, but it's great. It's, it's so nice to be able to go out on the road with people who feel like family, especially when we, we started competing internationally. We were members of Team USA when we were 14 and 16. And, you know, traveling to Bulgaria and Germany and France, essentially by ourselves with a group of kids. And you can really bond that way and, and learn who to trust. And we've grown up with a lot of um, really phenomenal people who have turned into some of the greatest skaters that we have today and we're very blessed to be amongst them. And in addition to that going on tour with some of the professionals you know who have been around a lot longer than we have they have so much insight to give us and not only with their friendship but also just you know how how do they still have their sanity sometimes you know and that that can really make a big difference for us you know they've been through what we're going through right now and they've been through this point of their career and the next point and so uh, it's, it's really helpful for us to become friends with them and to kind of get some insight on that as well. well